I'm George Pearson and this is a Photoshop Elements video. If you enjoy this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also click the like button and click those share buttons as well. If you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements take a look at my complete training titles which you'll find on Amazon and my website and links are in the description. In this video we'll be making this soft focus glamour portrait effect where the face is in focus and the focus kind of falls out as you move away from the face. We'll do that. Now on this one there's also another problem. Let me show you the original picture. There is the original picture perfectly in focus which is real nice but it has a really dull background to it. So we need to give it a new background and also give it that soft focus portrait effect. Okay let's go ahead and see how this is done. I'm going to start by just doing a fast save on this. Let's close this file out and I'll start with the original picture which is right there. Now the link for this picture is in the description so you go ahead and download this if you want to. The first thing we need to do is to create a layer mask around this hair. It takes some refined edge tricks to really get all of this hair taken care of. And for that a couple things. First off, go to the background layer, make a copy of this, and then hide that background. That's just my safety. In case things get messed up I can always go back to the original picture which is right there in the file. I don't have to go anyplace else to find that. Okay, here we are. Now on this we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Either this one or the regular lasso tool is fine. It's up to you which one you want to use. And we're making a selection right around near the edge of the hair just like that. Okay, I'll start at the bottom and don't actually touch the hair but just come in very close to the hair. With this tool you're putting in clicks, it puts in points and then Photoshop Elements connects those points with a line and that gives you your selection. And it's work up and clear around the top of the head here. It's going to go just just off screen up here and then back in around the back side. Again stay just a little ways out so we can get all those little fine hairs in there. And on the back side same thing just kind of stay you know kind of close but not clear in. Now come just off the picture and click then pull that back to the beginning part. Notice on the little icon down here as I get right against that beginning a little zero shows next to it. When you see that click on that that then closes out the selection. Okay now we can zoom in on this and then use our refine edge tool. I'm working in Photoshop Elements 15 right now and the refine edge has a button right down here. Notice I have my feathering set at one pixel. It just makes it just a little bit softer on that edge. If you don't have Elements 15 and you don't have this button, go up to the Select menu and come to Refine Edge right there. Let's bring the tool up. There we go. Now I have my setting set at 35 for my size and it's a pretty small tool as you can see right there. It's fairly small. So you can bring the size up if you want to. Let's set this up to 50 and the tool's a little bit larger but still pretty small. We're going to be zooming in on this. So I'll use the zoom tool in the Refine Edge dialog box and we'll zoom in on the bottom. Now, if you need to move this around, just grab the hand in the Refine Edge. You can then pull this around like that. We'll start off at the bottom and come down to this tool. This is the Refine Radius tool that's your basically your paintbrush. And just start painting right along the edge like that where you have made your selection and then work in from that and that allows elements to come in and find that edge. But it's a process of kind of working into it. It's, it's best if you don't do it all in one shot but then work in. Now I'm going to use the wheel on my mouse and roll the image a little bit here. And same thing, just come around and work in these edges and come in and get the little dark spots in the hair in here. We can kind of see through it and again just roll the wheel on the mouse and continue clear around the whole face doing this process. Now I'm going to pause the video right now and just finish this up off camera so you're not sitting here just watching me do this for a couple of minutes. That can get boring and as soon as I have this finished we'll then bring the camera back up again. Now once I finish this process we'll be 
outputting our selection right down there and you'll see that in just one second so just go ahead and work around the hair like I'm doing remember start off where you see that hard edge that's your selection hard edge hit that hard edge first and then move in a little bit and hit just inside and there's our fine edge I just took a clear around the head as you can see and along the back as well once you have that finished go back over here to the refine edge come down output to and what you want is a layer mask right there's output to a layer mask choose OK it gives you a layer mask and it hides the background a little bit of gray in here that's kind of a transparency that gives you all that little fine feathered stuff okay there's the basic layer mask we need a copy of this layer now so grab this layer and drag it up to the new layer button there we go so I have two copies now of that the bottom one is going to be our soft focus layer and the top one will be the in focus layer underneath of that let's just make one down here I'll put a new layer down here this layer will be the background the wood background okay let's take a look and do that next we'll draw background next so let's just hide this hide that come down to the background set your colors at their default black and white and I'll put black in front white and back there we go now go up to filter come down to render and fibers there you go here's our basic fibers I have mine set at 16 on the variance and the strength of 4 that gives you about this kind of a thing now it comes in random each time it's not going to match my beginning example exactly it's kind of a random fiber thing but it looks basically like this you can change the look by clicking on the randomize button until you find one that you like and you can also change the variance and strength if you want but these are the numbers that I used for this demonstration choose OK and it just puts in a nice black and white background like that with these fibers happening on it now I need to convert this over into the look of wood so I'll go to the move tool go up here to layer come down to adjustment layer and click on hue saturation and click here where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask choose OK then click colorize and this adds color into the image notice how the white is staying white and the black is getting brown in here you can bring the lightness down and you begin getting that brown tone into the white areas as well spring downs is fairly dark we don't want kind of a dark background on this because she has a dark background already and you can adjust the hue a little bit in here I'm gonna make it just a little less red just a little move to the right there and it'd be a little more saturation just a little more color just trying to get a nice a nice wood tone okay that looks pretty good the settings I'm using here if you want to match it exactly it's colorized 16 on the hue 33 on the saturation and negative 52 on the lightness and that'll be real close to that choose okay so there's our background now we can bring image back in again and you can see how that refined edge allowed the hair to really sit on that new background just like that okay so far so good we've taken care of the background basically and we have our person sitting in front so that's you know step one we've taken it this far let's now do that soft focus trick I'm going to bring up our second layer up here this is our focus layer and then this is going to be the soft focus or out of focus layer for this we want to blur this image out so go up here to the filter menu and come down to blur and then Gaussian blur and that's way too much I found that for this one I was using a setting of 10 it's pretty nice just kind of basically blurred out as you can see the real nice kind of soft blurry effect you know the radius of 10 choose OK now it looks strange right now but don't worry we'll be going up here to our top layer and then bringing the focus back in now we need to also blur the background out so that it matches this level of blurring here so I'll come down to the background layer this is our new background layer the wood tone layer we'll blur this at that same setting so come up here to filter come down to blur Gaussian blur should still be sitting on 10 looks good just choose OK and there's the background blur as well so the blur now matches the background OK let's now bring the girl in to do this we need to have a gradient 
on the layer mask, which is over here. Click on the right side. Notice that light blue outline. Look for that. So you want a gradient on this side with white in the middle where you want it in focus and moving out to black outside where you want it out of focus. But that gradient has to be inside of the layer mask so we keep our layer mask. And I can do that by right-clicking on the layer mask and click on Add Mask to Selection right there. What that does is it keeps the layer mask but it also gives you your selection back again. There's our selection and the layer mask is still here. So now we can put a gradient in here and the gradient will be limited to inside of that selection. So grab your gradient tool and it should look like this if you have black foreground white background it should look like that. That's the default setting. If we click on that that's the upper left hand corner preset which is foreground to background color. I want this backwards so I want to have white on the left hand side and black on the right so click on reverse down here there you go that reverses that and make sure that you're on the second gradient this is the radial gradient and then clicking right between her eyes right there on the nose we're gonna pull this down to about the middle of the shoulder so click here pull down to about middle of the shoulder let go now what happens is that we stay in focus where it's white up here and then we move out of focus as we get away from that and into the gradient. You can adjust the amount by just doing it again. Click in here. If you go real short, it'll be a real fast focus shift. If you pull it down further, it's a slower focus shift. So just find a nice setting for that. There should be a little bit of blurring out here on the back side of the hair. And that's just about right. Okay, let's go ahead now and deselect. There we go. There's our soft focus effect. Now, let's work on that background a bit, make it a bit more moody, a bit more interesting. So let's come down here. We have our adjustment layers, of course. Let's put in another adjustment layer on this one. Go up to Layer, Adjustment Layer, and come down to Levels. Make sure this is still checked. Use Previous Layer to create clipping mask. Choose OK. On the Levels, pull the left side control in. This is your blacks. That's going to darken down the blacks a bit, see there? And then pull the right side control over a bit. And, or the middle one rather, there we go. And that darkens the mid-tones down. You can leave the whites where they are, they're fine. So what you want is a moodier look on the background, so the light's just hitting her face. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So that gives us that kind of a nice moody background effect. Okay, choose OK on that one. Now, let's improve the background even more by putting a light streak in here on the background. We'll do that above all of this stuff. So click in here and then this is on the levels adjustment. Make a new layer above that one. On this one, let's reverse our colors to white grab the polygonal lasso tool and then I'll make a lasso I'll clicking up here just off the picture click let's pull it down over here somewhere click straight down just below the picture click pull it over to about middle of her shoulder kind of middle of where the shadow is click here and pull it back up like that click and then back to the beginning gives us that shape Let's now grab the paint bucket and just fill that with white. There we are. Now, let's deselect that. Let's blend this into the background better than that. So go over here to Overlay. That just blends it into the background. There you go. Now, it, notice it, it makes the light parts lighter and the dark parts not really that much. So it looks like it's, like it's hitting it. I want to get rid of that kind of a hard edge along that. Let's go ahead and do that with the Gaussian Blur. So Filter and Blur and Gaussian Blur. It's set at 10 right now. That's not too bad. I think we can go a bit softer though. Maybe up as much as 30. And choose OK. So just have just kind of a nice soft light hitting across that background. But it's pretty blurred out. And again, that's a setting of, of 30. You can adjust that. It's going to depend really also on the background, how that works out. What we really want here, we really want kind of just a highlight happening up in here and a highlight happening down there. 
And that makes it look a bit more as if there's some light from her faces spilling onto the background as well. And last little step, let's go back to the wood background. We're going to darken down the edges on this one. Go up to the filter menu, come down to correct camera distortion. Let's bring this one up. Here we go. On this one, you want the vignette right there. Take the control, go all the way to the left. Notice how that darkens the corners down. I'll show that. There we go. Just kind of darkens the corners down. And on the midpoint, if you pull that to the left a bit, it gets even darker. So the amount clear to the left and midpoint at about 30, 32 in here somewhere is good. Choose OK. That darkens down that corner. I think maybe I went a bit too far on that one. Let's just undo that and do a little less. Unfortunately, you can't see this exactly while you're working on it. So I'm on the wrong layer there. Make sure on the background layer, that's the one you want. Again, as I was saying, you can't really judge this because you're on the black and white version, but it's all the way to the dark. And I'll just leave the midpoint where it is this time. It'll vary depending upon the levels that you show as previous in your other steps. So it's kind of a, a check it and try it a couple of times to get it right. Okay, there we go. Darkening down may be a little too dark still on the outer edge. You may want to pull that back a little bit so it's not quite as dark. Let's just go ahead and do that. This is still too dark to my eye. I'm going to undo that. So let's pull it back a little bit more. Camera distortion. Make sure on the right layer. That's the wood tone layer. There we go. Filter. And I'll pull the darken down so I'm not clear to the edge. Maybe about negative 79, negative 80, somewhere around here. Choose OK. So it's not as dark. That's better. I wanted just a little bit of detail still showing in those edges. So there we go. And there's our finish on that. Let's now pull this out and see how this looks. I'll just enlarge the picture here. And magnifying glass, zoom in a couple of steps. And there we go. So there is a nice glamour shot. I think it looks pretty good. I think we've taken a shot which could use some help. And we've really improved that picture in here by changing that background out and putting in that soft focus. Let's now do a comparison. I'll take our background down here, drag it up to the new layer button, drag that above everything else, and then hide that background again. So there's the before, and there's the after with our change. So before, it's a good shot, real nice, clean, perfectly in focus, but the background is really dull. And then there it is with the new background and with our soft focus glamour effect. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.